What I want to take a look at in this audio amplifier is the phase relationship between the input, which is the control grid, pin 5, and the output, which is the plate, at pin 3. And what we're going to find is the input signal and the output signal are 180 degrees out of phase. Looking at this picture, we can see the input signal is smaller than the output because the tube is amplifying it. But the phase relationship is 180 degrees out or another way to look at it is when the input signal is increasing the output signal is decreasing and vice versa. If the signal on the control grid pin 5 starts to go negative this will cause the current to become less between the cathode and the plate or another way to say it would be the resistance between the cathode and the plate is increased and when that happens at pin 3 at the output the voltage will increase. If the voltage should go more positive on the control grid. This will cause the tube to conduct more, less resistance between the cathode and the plate, and at pin 3 will decrease the voltage. Let's take a look at one complete cycle, 360 degrees. At the left is the input signal and as it increases in the positive direction on the right the plate voltage is decreasing. Now when the input signal starts to go in the negative direction the plate voltage pin 3 is going in the positive direction and when we get to the full 360 degrees one complete cycle you can see that the input and the output is 180 degrees out of phase the generator is warmed up and so is the radio and I've got the scope leads hooked up to pins 3 and 5 and they go over here to the scope That's channel 1. That's the input. There's channel 2. That's the output of the tube of the plate. And if we take a look at both of them, you can see that they are 180 degrees out of phase.